Perfect. Okay. Uh, the second thing is declare the skin states and define their appearance. Uh, like a mouse up, over and uh, selected or disabled. Like that you can uh, describe it in your skin class. And you have to specify within that skin class in which state, which are the appearance should be appeared within the skin class. And moreover, the skin class and host components are binded with each other. And from the skin, you can communicate with the host component, and from the component, you can communicate with your skin. There is a pull and push method uh, concept within that uh, within this uh, uh, skin and host component. And uh, to identify identify the skin states that it supports with the skin state metadata tag. You got to specify the skin state within your uh, host component and which are the state you are going to use in your host component and uh, define the appearance of the skin parts like uh, styling using the FXG or uh, using the image format or uh, uh, like a graphic element you can draw a rectangle like uh, using the graphic element and identify the skin parts that it uses with the skin part metadata tag. You have to specify the skin part metadata to identify your uh, your skin parts like uh, in your custom uh, skins you, you have to specify the button name uh, button id to identify your skin parts and and this is the class hierarchy uh, uh, actually the flex 4 architecture is built upon the flex 3 existing uh, MX, uh, MX architecture and uh, this is uh, this is built upon the UA component like uh, it XN extend from UI component, the skinnable component extend from UI component, the skinnable component is the base for all the uh, all the skinning skinning components like a panel, button or uh, like a custom components if you want to skin your uh, skin your component means you, have, you should extend your skinnable component and the skin extends from the UI component and the the skin is the base for uh, all the skin components like a button skin the default button skin extends the, from the skin and the panel skin extends the skin if you want to develop a new skin means it should extend from the skin and uh, this is a skin parts life cycle this uh, it means the life of the skin when it comes to attach with the component and when the skin when the component find the skin parts initially and it's it's add it start to add the parts and the component stage like uh, it's uh, we can identify the parts and the path added method and the the blue one are called by the developer like a uh, uh, from the component 